Hey guys, my name is Jan, I make new videos every Friday, so please make sure you subscribe by clicking down below, and also because YouTube's now added the new bell notification button, you may want to press that as well in order to get notified when I put up a new video. Thank you very much, and let's get going. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. And I've decided that this week I would be explaining what the hell has happened the last two weeks because I've not been uploading. Also going to put on my hat. Firstly, I'm not very well. I've got a bit of a bad throat, a few things, and that's why I've decided to have a weird title, the name of the video. So I should explain that November and December have been somewhat good and somewhat bad. When I mean somewhat good and somewhat bad, I'm going to describe November and December as being the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know, it sounds so stereotypical. I've got lemon squash, by the way. It's kind of helping my throat. So I decided that I want to end this video on a high, which means that logically I'd start this video on a low. So I'm going to start on some good news. So the good news is that I'm still loving university, even though I've got a coursework deadline tomorrow. However, work's done. I've been happy with it for the last week, so it's been submitted tomorrow. That's done. Secondly, I have my house sorted for next year. I've not confirmed, well, I've confirmed it, but I've not had the money back. Which means that it's going to be an exciting time for YouTube, especially because I will be having a bigger more spacious YouTube room, which will actually look like a YouTube room, and I really am excited for that. And this room will be awesome. Actually, does anyone use awesome anymore? Well, I'm going to anyway. So, guess I'm now onto the bad news, and the bad news is going to get dark. And because it's going to get dark, I'm decided that I will start it in reverse order to events. So, I went down the railway station yesterday in Swansea because I've got to make a trip home next week. I got to the railway station and I had a really bad confrontation with a member of staff and it basically got bad. So much so that I've had to make complaints and that, which isn't a good thing to be doing. Especially because yesterday, well it wasn't yesterday, it was Tuesday. Tuesday, I was in a very bad state. Emotionally, I've been good with my emotions for the last... I've had ups, I've had downs, but I've been somewhat stable. The last few days, I've really not been, because I've had a lot of circumstances at home. And you can actually see my face in this, so, yeah. I've had a lot of bad circumstances at home, and I'm not crying, I am actually itching my eyes because they really do itch and I was going to swear them and I'm glad I didn't. <coughs> anyway, so I actually got verbally abused by a member of staff and it just isn't appropriate. I'm not really going to go into the details because it's not fair for the company, it's not fair on myself and it's not fair for the other person. But all I'm going to say is that that has not really helped. So you'll realise that actually if you're a follow of, follower of me on YouTube, you'll realise that I didn't upload a video last week. And there is a really sad reason behind this. So I'm going to try and keep to the best I can and stay as positive as I can. I've been pretty positive the last 10 days, but do bear with me. I made a video at the end of January last year that explained that my grandmother was in the hospital. Thankfully, she came out only a couple of days after I uploaded that video, explaining what was going on. And I, I think I called it something along the like this week's bad luck or something along that. In fact, I will link the video down below, I think. Probably be best. This summer, my grandmother ended up in hospital again. And it was actually, again, when I uploaded a video, saying that I was moving away to here because I had had my university acceptance, because I'd had my A-level results. 
when I had my A-level results, what I didn't tell people, what I didn't tell people when I had my exam results was that my grandmother was critically ill in hospital. The Tuesday night, and I had my exam results on the Thursday, I remember sitting to, next to my unconscious grandmother, who I thought I was going to lose that night, going that saying to her that I would try my best with YouTube and I'd try my best for my university and I'd be successful for her. Six o'clock the next morning, we have a phone. My grandmother, being my grandmother, although she was unconscious, by the next morning had woke up and was having a conversation with the staff. So my exam results, she was still in hospital and she came out and then a week after that she ended up back in. But it actually weren't that bad. I thought that's when I was going to lose her. Monday last week, I was sitting in a lecture. Uh, I was sitting in contract, which is probably my favourite of my law things, other than maybe EU. EU and contract I really enjoy. And I've got a great lecturer for contract, but I had a phone call. Sadly, that phone call was some devastating news that... That night, my grandmother had passed away, overnight, and she'd actually passed away from COPD, which is somewhat to do with it. She didn't eat very well, but we found out that she couldn't eat because it was winding her, basically. But I would rather do a video on the awareness and that actually afterwards, rather than doing it now because it's not the right time. So basically that explains why I didn't put a video up last week and why I kept myself off social media, off YouTube and pretty much kept myself to myself because instead of me being upset, which I am deeply upset by what's happened, It was more in respect for her. Now, this probably sounded weird to majority of people on here, but if any of you have ever been in this situation, you will may understand. I was extremely close to my grandmother, and I mean extremely close. To the point where I still love her dearly. And I literally can't picture, because I've been away, I can't picture going home now and not seeing her. I know it's not going to happen, because I'm not going to see her, but it's really not hit me. And I've not really been emotional yet. I've had some downs, but I've not been emotional. I've been around my friends at university and I'd like to point out that I've got loads, my flat have been amazing here. Uh, with the help and that I d decided because it was somebody's birthday that I wouldn't tell the flat. Really. I told three people in our flat when it happened because two of them were in the room when I had a phone call and the last person I was talking to about my gran anyway, just before, and we'd been close about it. But I decided that one of my two friends in law needed to know, so they've been particularly helpful and been there, which I really, really, really um couldn't without them I'll be honest and I don't think it's right to not mention that I've had another friend who has literally Skyped me every night because of what's been going on to check that I am alright and I've had some other friends as well who have really helped me but the Skyping uh, my next door neighbour and my two law friends I really couldn't have done without but yeah 
I'm not really being emotional, I've had ups and downs, but it's, you know, not really hit me. And my lecturer has weirdly noticed that, because I've had to concentrate on my work, so I've had to deal with it. I think things have hit me more have been with what's gone on family-wise, but I do not want to discuss that actually in a video. Next week, my emotions may change, because you've probably gathered now that those train tickets were actually for me to travel home next week and attend to the funeral, which I am dreading going to. But I will come back here after the funeral for approximately four days until I go home again, but I've got work to do and I need to be back here. And I know that my nan would want me to do my work and she wants me to be successful and I promised her that I'd be successful. But I do not want this video to be sad. I know that's a sad point, but I do not want this video to be sad because my nan was never sad and I particularly want to dedicate a video to her and the condition and just to make people aware of it. But she wouldn't have wanted that. Anyway, I'm now moving on to the rant part of this video, and this is actually going to be a long video, I've only just realised, sugar. But, my, and my rant is a reasonable rant, because I have what actually happened. We have had YouTube Rewind 2016. And I feel like it's justified for me to rant, because Twitter has been full of it, YouTube has been full of it. What was this rewind? I appreciate there's loads of amazing YouTubers on there. For instance, Dan and Phil, who started it off, who, if you don't know already, I absolutely adore. I just think they are great YouTubers. And people like Zoella and that, they do really work hard. And I appreciate that. And then there was things like the apple, pineapple, pen, blada. I've never watched that video, I'm just going to put that out there, but I just didn't see how that was as important. But many YouTubers as well, like Mimi, got on that, but I felt that their things were very short and they've had a very successful year. Yet, there's some YouTubers that have probably had more successful times than Dan and Phil and Mimi, who weren't even mentioned. And that really shocked me. For instance, Dodie Clark, Doddle Oddle, or, you know, Doddle Vlog, or, you know, Dodie, I'll put a photo there, if you don't know her, which I'm surprised if you don't. But she's had such a successful year with music and everything, and she didn't even get a mention. And I'm thinking, why? I know she's one of my personal favourites, YouTubers and it's not for me to say well actually she should be up there but she's had more success and her best friend her bestie Evan what a successful year he's had and actually those two have been really helpful for me especially in the last week weirdly yeah how could I have coped like without them but they've had such great years and they've not been mentioned I get excited when Evan puts on a video. I make sure I'm back here on a Sunday so I can watch Evan's video. But there's one person as well who I think I will surprise people by saying that I watch, but who didn't get a mention I think they really should have, and it's Louise Pentland. Louise has had her show. She's had a DVD, and she's got a book coming out. And I know YouTubers create books, but this is a novel. That's just with things that she's done with YouTube. She's been to conferences. She's been to the United Nations. And I saw nothing. YouTube Rewind should be of how successful YouTube has made people. And how successful and how much work people have put in. And even in a way, I don't think Dan and Phil, who got a good run-in. Or, or me, me who got a good run-in on YouTube Rewind. 
really had enough of what it was because it's been successful for them. And I think YouTube has really taken nothing into account. They just seemed forgotten. But anyway, let's end this video positively. And that's what I want to do. Christmas is on its way. Christmas is going to be as good as it could be. So I'm excited and thankfully most of my Christmas shopping is done now. I've also treated myself to a couple of things, including this, which is the Den and Phil Advent Calendar. I have to admit that I brought this because I really wanted an Advent Calendar of Dan and Phil. And I got myself ready. That. My brand new Dan and Phil US Tour 2016 poster. So yeah, <laughs> that's some positive news. I've got Dan and Phil in my life and I'm happy with that. But the best news doesn't regard the advent calendar or the poster. It regards what's happening with me in YouTube this year. And I've got some very exciting news with that, which I can't announce yet. But all I'm going to say is that actually we've got a lot of professional stuff that's going on next year which I am excited for considering how small my channel is and actually what's going to be happening plus the fact that I've got some travelling videos coming up I've actually got two trips abroad by the end of May I'm not announcing them yet I'm going to go down the beach probably and announce them because I think it's right but I might drop some hints in on snapchat so you might want to be checking that out of what I'll be uh, doing. But I've got some amazing treats lined up for next year. And it's just so exciting of what will be happening. On that note, I want to end this video positively. And all I'm going to say is, watch this space. So, I hope you have enjoyed this week's video. If you have, make sure you leave that like down below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe that I've just pointed to and has came up. Click on there, it goes straight to my channel. I upload videos every Friday, or pretty much every Friday. So you may as well check out see what I'm doing. Above is my Twitter, and I do post on Twitter quite a bit. I've posted on there about three or four times today. Below is my Snapchat as well, which you also want to follow me on. Especially if you want to know what some of those treats are that I'll be doing. Because I will be posting some hints on there. The last video that I made, which will be from two weeks ago, is at the end, as always. And for new subscribers, and those that are already with me, you may want to make sure you hit on that bell notification button to be notified when I upload a new video. On a much more positive note, and I don't know whether I'll be recording from here next week or actually from home, I would like to say goodbye, and I'll see you next week. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat? Firstly... Yay, there we are, that's better. Firstly, I'm not very well. I've got... Oh.